Welcome to the Radiant Visalia podcast. Join us at one of our two services, 9 a.m. and 1045 a.m. Download the Church Center app or visit our website, radiantvisalia.com, to stay connected with us. All right, enjoy. Last week, uh, Steve uh, Whitmer spoke and did an amazing job talking about prophecy. We're in the book of 1 Timothy, and it seems clear that Timothy was a church leader living with prophetic promises over his life. And what he was doing when he felt tempted to be discouraged or disheartened as he was accessing these words that were spoken over his life. And so we've been pursuing, Lord, what, what are your prophetic promises over our lives? What are you saying to us? And how can we hold on to that in such a way as to go forward, kind of fighting the good fight? So something kind of fun happened. Uh, We had a wild weekend at at man camp where we all uh, did our best to speak in tongues and uh, really hitting the gas and the things of the spirit because, um, you know, just being open isn't quite cutting it. And so we've been pressing in and saying, let's be eager and earnest because nothing's happening when we're open. Oh, I'm open to getting better at guitar. Does that person really get better at guitar? (laughs) Open to Jesus. You know, it's like we don't, we hit the gas in the things we desire. And so let's go for these things. So this interesting thing happened this week that I feel like is, is worth sharing with the church. Steve spoke on Sunday on, on prophecy and, um, And how that brings direction to our lives as we follow uh, Jesus. I get home from the preach on Sunday, uh, and I get this text from Alan Frau, one of the speakers at our man camp. Hey Trav, thanks so much for having us and for your generous hospitality to us. Crazy thing just happened. I posted about the rugby on my Instagram and mentioned we'd been with Radiant Visalia. A good friend of mine named Nick Fox, he leads a church in San Diego and is very sharp prophetically, texts me and says, when I read your post about Radiant Visalia, I felt God speak to me about them. Can I send you a message for them? Um, He, you know, he is a guy who prophesied that we would adopt a church in the Inland Empire, which, which happened for Alan's church, which is in Brea, Southern California. What follows is the prophetic word for us as a church. Multi-site in a new way. Transition and multiplication of leaders will make everyone feel a bit weary in this next year. But there's a high priority for elders, staff, and core leaders to fast, worship, and pray together so that they can stay together. This is the point that, by the way, that's the point of kingdom come. If you want to come, great. But we've determined as leaders, we're going to pray and seek God together. We can't do this without him. And so that's what we do. We come together as the staff and leaders and go, God, come. Next, he goes, new opportunities among a few people groups. There's a harvest among first generation Mexican and South American immigrants. They will reap the harvest without much effort. But to keep the harvest, they're going to have to, they're going to, they're going to, have to figure out some different and unique environments. He goes on. I felt like God wants to mobilize this body to reach families of people with mental disabilities and handicaps. There's a justice story waiting to be told in this community. Nick goes on. I believe God is opening a door for a move in healing. I saw an old brick building with lines out the side doors for people in wheelchairs waiting to get in. There will be a grace in this church in the next season to put a foot on the gas around the things of the Spirit, where the leadership may have felt cautious before because they didn't want to leave anyone behind. There's a grace season to accelerate in the community. Lastly, I felt this was a house that needs to write, write their story. The Father loves the courage of this house and the faithfulness of it. There's a simplicity that makes so much accessible for other churches. Well, so, I did what any man of faith would do. 
I started thinking, did this guy dig in my journal? Or did he get on our Instagram account? Does he know what's going on here? Does, did he dig around and see that we meet in an old brick building? Does he know that we're planting a church in Tulare and trying to work out our model of multi-site? Does he know these uh, things? So as a man of faith, I texted Nick. I said, Nick, Alan passed on your prophetic prompting, and, and I was so encouraged. It was so accurate and helpful. Did you know that we just planted a new congregation? Did you know that we meet in a historical brick building? Are you aware of us? <laughs> or did that come to you as you simply read our name? Nick responds, Hi, Travis. I was unaware of all of that. It was a revelation I received as I read his tweet. <laughs> was an Instagram, which I thought he just clicked on Radiant Visalia and started perusing through and came up with a prophetic word. Apparently it was a tweet. I had never heard of you guys prior to Alan's tweet and our text exchange. I think you guys are headed for an incredible season. Thanks for listening. We want to be a resource for you as you walk with Jesus. So please connect with us at radiantvicelia.com. Until next time.